Hi, this is the next experiment for measuring or sorry for uh, testing whether a JFET works or not. This is the JFET, like you can see the JFET, uh, there's a three terminal, a four terminal uh, device, but one terminal has been bent and this you call as a shield, which is for normally used for protecting the device. And then if I turn it upside down, you can see a notch, right, a cap notch over here, right? The terminal adjacent to this, right? The terminal adjacent to this, we call this terminal, right? The notch is over here. The terminal adjacent to this. This is called the source. And the next terminal is the drain. And the third terminal is the gate. You can see here the notch, source, drain, and gate. This is the sheet, right? The notch, source, drain, and the gate. And this is the sheet. Now I'm going to insert this into the breadboard. We have source, drain, and the gate. Right? We have connected. This is source, drain, and gate. Source, you can see here, source, drain, and gate. Source, drain, and gate. And this is the uh, block diagram of the uh, JFET. This is an N type JFET where it is like completely made up of N material, and we have highly doped E type material over here. Uh, we have source and drain at the top and the bottom and the gate terminal is connected to the p-type material. So now I'm going to check whether I have a resistance flowing, right? I would be having a resistance if I connect my polarities, uh, multimeter polarities in between source and drain because it is a single material and I would be having some low resistance. And in the meantime, if I connect the positive to the p-type and negative to the n-type, right? negative can be drain or source and positive could be the gate, I would be having some certain amount of resistance flowing on. But in the either cases, there would be no resistance flowing. So let us check this. So I have connected this in the breadboard. This is source, I have told you, this is source, drain, and gate. So now let us check whether we have the resistance or not. So as usual, I have put the resistance in the ohms, right? The multimeters have been connected, and we are going to check whether we have the resistance or not. So I'm going to connect this particular red lead to the gate terminal, right? So I have the gate terminal over here. This is source drain and gate. I have the gate terminal over here. I have connected to the gate. And if I'm going to connect this black probe to any one of the uh, terminal, I would be getting a resistance. Let us check. Right? A20, the other terminal, I have the same value. If I choose it the other way, there is no resistance, you have high resistance flowing, right? You have high resistance, right? The gate I have put it into the, the source I have put it into the uh, positive polarity. If I'm going to connect the same, right? The drain, right? The drain and the source are the same material. So I will be getting a very low resistance. Let us see. So source, drain and decay. So drain and the source. If I'm going to connect drain and source, any polarity, right? Drain and source. I would be getting a value. If I change the polarity, drain and source, right? I am getting a resistance value. But on the other case, right? We are getting 825 ohm because of forward biasing, right? Because of forward biasing, I'm getting this resistance. So this is how you have to test your check.